Scott, freshman wide receiver Adam Randall. You all fire away with questions when you're ready. Adam, how much have you been looking forward to this return to the field? Um, ever since um, I was a little kid, it just was a dream come true. Just walking, coming down the hill and playing for Clemson. It's been a dream for me for a long time. And ever since I got hurt, um, didn't never knew like a really timeline when I was gonna get back. Felt like I got did attack rehab and got back faster than faster than later. So just being able to get back out there around week three and just being able to go out there and play under the lights and having amazing fans and being able to be out there in a night game was amazing. And it was just a really exciting night for me and I was really looking forward to it. So I couldn't couldn't ask for anything better. Um yeah, it was really um it was everything that I dreamed of and you know once I kinda got out there the first couple of plays it was uh, a little bit different than you know in high school and other times that you play football. But once you really get into the flow of the game, you everything uh, else goes away and you block out the distractions and it just becomes football again. I guess going back to spring, um, coaches were talking there were, and teammates were raving about the way you were performing in the spring. Um, so what do you remember of the injury? Um, obviously building up to that point, playing really well, and then all of a sudden something happens. Now, what do you remember? Um, just going back to, you know, back into the spring, you know, just having a really good game plan and really good coach and Gr Grisham and Coach Sweeney have really been bringing me along in the spring and I felt like I was doing really good and, you know, it's something you can't really plan for and it was unexpected and I really didn't think that it was an ACL at the time, but um, when it happened and I got the news, um, I, it was devastating, you know, it was tough at the moment, but Coach Sweeney just reassured me that, I mean, we have the best, um, training staff here and best equipment and the best place for me to be here. So uh, w once I got the news, I knew that I was going to be able to rehab and be able to get better, back better than ever. And that's what I did. He just told me that my summer was going to be a little bit different, but just be able to attack the rehab and attack going into the training room and just taking that uh, mindset of that what I would have on the football field and in the weight room, just taking it into the training room and I'll be OK. okay. Um, it, it wasn't, wasn't really a contact play. Um, it, it just kind of, just kind of took a step and it went wrong and my knee kind of caved in a little bit. It wasn't, um, wasn't anything malicious or anything. It was, that doesn't even look like much on film, but, um, something that you really just can't expect for a plan for and expect a just non-contact injury. And, uh, that, that's really kind of what happened. Uh, it was it was during a, a team period, and probably later on in the practice, and it just it it was um, it just a freaky accident. That's what how it comes down to. Um, no, no, not really. It was non-contact. How, how comfortable do you feel cutting? Are you still sort of trying to get to what you were before you? Um, cut, cutting. I mean, I I wouldn't have been if I wasn't confident in my knee going into. Uh, Cutting and doing everything, being able to play football-wise, I probably wouldn't have stepped back on the field. So I'm 100% confident in my knee and my ability to go out there and play and perform. So I, I'm definitely uh, feeling great and feel good now, after, even after the game that I played on Saturday. Was there a part of you that thought whenever you, you first tore it that, hey, I just lost my whole year, I'm not going to be able to play this year? Um, no, not not really. Um, I'm pretty try – I try to be awesome. <laughs> Optimistic in the moment, and um, just uh, just be able to uh, tell myself that I'm going to be able to play. And once I got the news that it was just an ACL, and you know I had a lot of encouragement from Amari Rogers and former players, just to telling me that um, I was be, be able to come back and be better than ever. So uh, just had a lot of encouragement from other people, and I knew that the ACL injury and the rehab is evolving, and it's. Uh, it's getting a lot better, so I knew that I was going to be able to have a chance to get back here during the season. I feel like your return to the field is pretty fast. I mean, you're here at the, the, the summer or the fall camps, you're out here um, running around with the guys, you had a brace, a brace on, but you know, three games in to finally get back on the field, it's a pretty quick uh, return. So, what kind of led to your ability to get back on the field so quickly? Um, just a lot of rehab. It took, it took, I, not didn't really go home as much as much this summer as a lot of the other guys did. May have maybe spent ten days at home this summer, throughout the entire summer ever since spring. But just really attacking the rehab, being here every day and being with Pat Richards, our new trainer, and he had a really good game plan for me. Just 
uh, progressing me very, uh, very well. And just being here and attacking it, just put my mind to it to be able to get back faster than ever. How determined were you to get back on the field? Um, you know, I was up here probably about two, three hours a day just doing rehab stuff. So I, I knew that's what it was going to take, and I just put my mind to it. So it, it wasn't really anything, you know, that I did personally. It took a lot of outside help, and you know. Uh, but like I said, the ACL injury is a, a definitely uh, turning into something that you can get back faster than later now. How did Amari reach out to you, and what did he say that can help? Um, the first, actually the f second day after I tore my ACL, somebody gave me Amari's contact. And I reached out to him, and he hit me back pretty quickly. And he just told me just to do certain things uh, with my uh, knees specifically and just be able to um, attack the rehab and, you know, uh, just keep your mind to it and take the abilities that you uh, on the field and in the weight room and apply that in the training room. Because if, if once I did that, I knew that every day I had to take those abilities that I had in the – off the on the field and apply that into the training room and that mindset I knew that I was going to be able to get back better um it did help me out a lot and we still keep in contact today it's just a really good resource to have when you have somebody that's already gone through it and just to be able to kind of walk and talk you through it yeah you know just getting really good extension and you know uh, quad quad related work just things like that and a couple machines to use but uh nothing like nothing like too extensive I mean well it's like I said we have the best trainers here and Pat really did a great job with me I mean me and Pat have grown up a really good relationship so uh, when, you, when you have a good relationship with somebody you're seeing every day it really makes it a lot better to come be able to come in and work harder well now that uh, you're back in the field and you're full go uh, now you can finally get to playing football just how excited are you to, to, to kind of make your name more heard around um, you know, just being able to go out there and, and do what I do and do what I've done since I was a little kid, you know, just play football and try, try to compete at the highest level. And that's what one thing that we talk about a lot, just being able to compete. And that's what that's what I'm going to try to do, you know, go out there and compete for every pass, every ball, every play, and just give it, give it my all. How much did Clemson's reputation as wide receiver for you influence you as a young kid growing up and your ultimate decision to come um, you know, ever since I was watching as a little kid, you always knew that Clemson had great wide receivers coming along. And, you know, once uh, getting that call from Coach Grisham and telling him that I had an offer from here, it was really special because, you know, uh, some people in the past, Nuke Hopkins, Sammy Watkins, those guys coming through, you know, if you, if you came to Clemson, you know, you can have a name for yourself, especially at a wide receiver position. And I just was blessed to be able to have the opportunity to come play here and I'm excited to be here. Adam, now do you, do you tell you, you say you're 100 percent or you feel like you're 100 percent with the injury? Are there things football wise that you still feel like, hey, you know, I need to get back in sync? And these are things that maybe I would have been on top of in June, in July, mm -hmm. and things like that. Why you were um, not football wise. Football wise, I'm really confident in myself. Um, you know, it took me a couple of weeks to get back in condition and football shape. You know, just kind of playing into it. But uh, last week I had a really good week of practice, and I was really, uh, it was really exciting to be at back out there on the football field and play actual football against really, really good competition. So um, that's, I was really excited to be back out there last week and just had a blast playing football last week and coming to practice and having a joy for the love of the game. So that's that's um, something that I've just really been kind of keying in as we were in fall camp. We had a couple of guest speakers just speaking to us and having the joy of the love of the game and that's once the once it was kind of taken away from me for a couple of months that's what I really gained back and just being able to love the game a lot more and come come in every day with the attention to detail to, to do the best that I can. I imagine that first catch was a lot bigger than just one catch. Yeah. Right? What, did you know what was coming on that play and how did you feel when it happened? Um, you know we have certain concepts where you know that the ball is probably coming to you. Um, I, I Once the play got in I knew I knew that I was gonna have a good chance of getting the ball so I just wanted to win on my matchup, and once um, once I, once the play got rolling, I just knew that I needed to catch the ball and get a first down. So uh, it wasn't wasn't really as much to it as like as some people think, but you know, just kind of playing ball and just letting it be natural and let it flow. Uh, that's that's what I try to mainly do. You talked about a couple of speakers uh, during fall camp. Andy Johnson, I think, was one of them. I mean, who were the people, and what did they say? I guess. That um, 
um, we had Inky Johnson. Inky was one of the one of the main people that I've talked about having the love of the game. You know, he he got the he got the game taken away from him in a tragic tragic way, and he said one of the main things was that he um, he 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 hated come, coming to practice after he was injured and not and seeing people not give it their all. So. That's what I try to do in practice, even when I'm tired and trying to get back in shape now, you know, just giving it my all and on every rep, every every day in practice. And I feel like that's going to get me better in the long run and in the short run. So, you know, he, he was definitely one of the guys that I listened to the closely enough and took a lot of notes about just listening and, and enjoying the game and not taking it for granted. Um, yeah, the scout team, it kind of took me back to when I was in ninth grade on varsity, um, just being on scout team. And you, you get to play a lot faster on, on scout team. And I was able to uh, <laughs> mentally take a lot of reps and uh, think through a lot of my routes on scout team. Because you, once you're on scout team, you just get the route and you just have to run it. So you don't have to think through anything else. But uh, it just definitely just brought that hunger back into me and just being able to be aggressive. and. And just to play, to play as play the game to its fullest, and to have joy for it. I guess in terms of one of the moments where you kind of knew you were back, I think Coach Sweeney was telling us that during camp, your the GPS timed you, and you were the fastest receiver. Mm -hmm. Did he tell you about that, and were you surprised to, to see you were moving that fast? Um, back, uh, not really. I knew that I was. I I can really tell when I'm running, when I'm getting back to full speed because my I'm not. Uh, Peter Patter and 